Welcome to the Fairfield Art Association's first virtual tour of our permanent collection. I'm Susan Kessel, who is the volunteer director for the Fairfield Art Association, and I'm home doing this tour for the COVID-19 May Art Walk. In 1969, members of the Art Association were sent a letter saying, most of us cannot afford to acquire a large personal art collection. However, we are fortunate that we have an art association which is doing this for us. The Fairfield Art Center, which is what the, its gallery space was called in 1966, has the following originally original art compositions in the permanent collection. You can see that we started out with four and we've grown to, I'm not sure of how many we have, but it's probably around 50 pieces right now. Many of them are on display in the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center in our hallway gallery. The letter goes on to say, although the permanent collection is small, we can take pride to, in knowing the fact that we have one. It's of good quality and it is growing. As I flip through our notebook, you can see that we had, um, this is a 1968, an exhibit by M.J. Kitzman. We also have a piece of his in our uh, hallway gallery of our permanent collection. And many of our pieces were purchased by members or donors when we had our early collections exhibits and our pieces are representative of mostly early Iowa artists. This is a piece by M.J. Kitzman, um, who's one of the fastest becoming one of Iowa's outstanding painters. And he was at the Art Association to discuss his work in 1967. Art Benoit. Art Benoit was an artist that I was, um, was a mentor for me. Uh, his, this watercolor that we see here is a beautiful piece, almost a black and white piece, very little color, and I used to sit at the library and look at these pieces when they were hanging on the wall then and um, I used to wish that I could paint like that and it's a lot of ink and black and white. Art Benoit was an artist also from Marshalltown and it says here that he is opening exhibit it was in November 7th of 1971 we're jumping to I remember that when the Pope came to Iowa, Art has his work selected by the state of Iowa to give as a gift to the Pope from the state of Iowa. Ray Frederick. And I have this piece, which is a beautiful painting, um, oil, it's probably done with a palette knife and this was jumping back to 1967 that this was purchased for the permanent collection. Two of the Fairfield Art Association's most prized pieces in our permanent collection are by the artist Mauricio Lazansky. We're looking at a self-portrait by Lazansky and this again is printmaking. And now we're looking at Boy with the Burrow. Um, both pieces are fairly large and featured in our hallway gallery at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center. Um, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this artist. This show that we had of Lozanski's was one of the most outstanding art exhibits in the state of Iowa that will display in the Fairfield Art Association in February of 1969.
36 prints by Lazansky, a distinguished professor of art at the University of Iowa, comprises the show. Professor Lazansky is of international um, fame and one of the few outstanding printmakers in the world today. A Dr. and Mrs. Webster Gilman of Iowa City, owners of the collection, have spent 17 years acquiring it, and it is now one of the largest in the world. The collection is most representative of the maestro's works and covers most years of the artist's lives. Various techniques of printmaking are represented, many in color, some in black and white. The show has been exhibited in large cities and will be shown at the Tulsa, Oklahoma Museum later this year. Lazansky has won more than 100 competitive prizes in this country and abroad and has been had many individual shows, including three touring exhibits sponsored by the United States Information Agency in this country and Latin America. He was born in 1914 in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Lazansky has been associated with the University of Iowa since 1945. He also dis directed distinguished art schools in Argentina and had invitational ex exhibitions in Yugoslavia, Vienna, Russia, as well as in Philadelphia and other places in the United States. So you can see why Lazansky is um, a premier piece in our permanent collection. The Lazansky family has had many, many of its members go on to be artists themselves and learn the printmaking tradition uh, passed on. His son, Tomas Lazansky, also of Iowa City, uh, has portraits here, printmaking, that I found in a gallery in Colorado recently. Artworks by Anne Hovey was another exhibit at the Fairfield Art Association and happens to be one of my favorite artists because I learned to paint from her when I was very young. I started by, um, she asked me to pose for a painting and I did so. And I think it's funny that this is called a one man show works by Anne Hovey. Um, Anne told me as I was watching her paint that she learned early on that you should learn to paint like a man. Um, I thought that was funny, but I, I understood exactly what she meant. This is a painting that I used to sit in the library and look at also and just marvel at her technique, her ability to paint what she called the holes and the areas, um, the shapes that were in the holes. Uh, this one we have in our permanent collection by Anne Hovey who lived in Fairfield after she moved here about when I was in high school. And then this piece is um, called Reservoir. And it was painted by Anne while she lived in Fairfield on Glenview Circle. And as a view looking out her basement window uh, where she had her studio to the yet undeveloped fields. This painting, Northwestern Bell, was featured on Northwestern Bell's 1974 calendar, um, which was a selected um, collaborative effort from five state area and represented the month of November. Hovey frequently selected community members to pose for her in still lifes and portraits um, who were often interestingly posed and garbed. I have to say that I also learned from Anne that one of my favorite things to paint 
is a portrait with a still life with a landscape in the background, like looking out a window. Two Figures by Stan Hess. This is another of my favorite pieces in our permanent collection. This painting was featured in one of the early exhibits at the Fairfield Art Association, and it was from the Des Moines Art Center's Rental Gallery. These exhibits provided primarily Iowa artists extensively trained and widely exhibit, exhibited professional. This particular piece was purchased in 1970 for our collection. Stan Hess was born in Weatherford, Oklahoma in 1923. As a child, he was educated at the St. Patrick's Indian Mission in Oklahoma, the only white male child among Indian students. Hess remembered enriched, enriched learning, and he attended the university in Oklahoma and was a contemporary of Oscar Brousseau Jacobson, Jr. This concludes the Fairfield Art Association mini virtual tour of our permanent collection, which can be seen in the hallway gallery at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center once we reopen. In um, looking through my notebook, I can see that we probably have over a hundred pieces in our permanent collection, although they aren't all on display, and we have displays in our executive conference room and upstairs by the offices and several places in the Art Association as we pull out from time to time. We invite you to come check out the permanent collection in our hallway gallery in the near future. Thank you for joining us today.